Hey guys, um, hi. <laughs> Haven't done a video in a while, but um, I had a quick second and I had some new products that I wanted to talk about. Um, if you're hearing any noises other than my beautiful voice, uh, that might be the seven-year-old in the living room that's right off my bedroom playing her Wii, or my sister making dinner, or unloading the dishwasher, or whatever it is she's doing in there. But, um, yeah, so I haven't made a lot of videos since I moved here. Haven't made a lot of videos in a while. Um, just life. Um, but yeah, I'm here in Connecticut and the weather was kind of bad today, so... I'm in the house and I'm not doing anything, so I don't see why not. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is the Palladio Herbal Eyeshadow Primer. I have a crappy webcam, so I know you can't read that, but pretend you can. Um, yeah. I heard... I don't remember who it was. I don't remember their username, but I'll put it here somewhere. Somewhere in here. Um, Emily something. Oh my gosh, I can't remember it. A while ago, um, she was talking about this. She said you could get it at Sally's or Ulta, and um, she compared it to the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I happened to see it at Sally's one day when I was in there, getting uh, bobby fins or something. And I decided to try it, and I really like it. Um, it is, it's similar to the Urban Decay Primer Potion. It has similar, similar applicator, similar kind of texture, but I think maybe a little creamier. Um, yeah, it's, it's really nice. It works really good. My eyeshadow stays on all day long, sometimes to the next day. So, I really like it a lot, and it was only $7 compared to Urban Decay's, like, $28.00 there so I think that's pretty good. The next thing I want to talk about is uh, the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation which I know is really old news like everybody's already tried this but um I haven't or hadn't tried it yet and I don't know like I was at the store one day and I was like you know what I need a new foundation I'm gonna try this and I really like it so kind of just want to announce that I tried it and I liked it yeah! Yay! And then today I got the powder that goes with that. It's just face powder. No big deal. Um, today I also got two quads from CoverGirl. Um, as you guys I'm sure know, I lost all of my makeup when I moved. So I am now rebuilding my makeup collection. As of right now, the only makeup items... Like, only eyeshadows I have are the Naked, Urban Decay Naked palette, a small little quad from Revlon, and now these two, along with that foundation and face powder and, like, mascara and stuff. Um, so, I was trying to get stuff I'll be able to use, like, for a while, and also things I could use for my Halloween costume this year, because I'm doing my own costume. Um, I don't know if I made a- I did! I made a video for it last year. I was a zombie. And, um, I think it came out really- really good. I don't know if I showed a video of when I actually did it on Halloween, but I know I show, I think I did a video for how I was going to do my makeup. And, um, I don't have any of that makeup now, but I'm going to do the same thing, just because I already know how to do it, and it'll be easy. Um, new place. So, you know, no one knows I've done it before. Um, so I got these two eyeshadow quads. That way I'd be able to kind of recreate it as best I could without having to order a big palette online and wait for it to get here and hope it gets here in time. Um, also, a lot cheaper. So, um, the first quad I got is CoverGirl Drama Eyes. It has, um, this, like, white color, a plain black, a light gray, and then down here there is a, um, kind of deep orange, deep orange red with a little bit of glitter, but not, not really that much that you can't cover it. Um, I'm really excited about these, they're really pretty. I'm gonna use my Palliato, Palladio, whatever, prime my hand up so I can show you guys. I was trying them earlier and they're so nice. Okay, so 
Do they have the names of it on the back? No. Uh, so the first one there, you can barely see on my camera. It's um, that white. The second one is the black. But, um, you know, when you first get these eyeshadows, they have that, like, pressed look on the top. And you kind of kind of get through that layer until you get, like, the really pigmented part. So, they're not super pigmented looking yet. This is the light gray, which you can't really see. Oh, right there. It's kind of sparkly, like shimmery, but not really. Not too bad. They're really, really soft, too. You know what I mean? I don't know. And there's the red. They're super nice. So that's Drama Eyes, which I think has like some really nice fall colors, plus a matte black, which is really, really hard to find. Honestly, hard to find any eyeshadows that are matte. When I was looking at the store, everything had sparkle. Like, come on, people. Does anybody wear matte eyeshadow anymore, or is it just me? I don't know. Um, the second one is called Ice Princess. I'm not really very princessy but um it had all these really nice purples which I really which I use a lot in um my zombie makeup look um instead of doing oops rubbing the eyeshadow off instead of doing just black I like the purple because it kind of gives more of a sunken look I feel like it's a little more realistic than just black it gives a little more definition and you know, just another layer. And I really like purple. It makes my eyes pretty because they're blue. I don't know. It complements them nice, I think. So, um, the first one I'm going to show you is going to be this one on the end here, which is a very, like, light matte purple. And I should have left more room or primed more of my hand, but I'm an idiot. So that's that one there. Ooh, ooh. There we go can't really see it just like the other ones the second one is kind of a light gray purple which is similar to the light gray that I um, already have but more of a purpley shade and you like I, I can barely see it on my hand so I'm not even gonna try and show you the third one is like um, I wouldn't say too dark of a purple it's just a regular medium purple oh not on my hand yet and um, it has a little bit of glitter to it I kind of look like a hand puppet. Yeah. And the second one is a deep, dark purple that comes out like almost black on my hand, honestly. Which is that here on the end. It like doesn't really come out on my hand that much. Oh, it's still got that like weird layer. There we go. So that's that one. It comes out like black. So those are the two quads I got. I know this video is kind of long just for showing you some quads, but um, whatever. So those are the colors. Um, these whoop, on the top are the drama eyes and then ice princess. I know you can't really see the lighter colors, but you can see the darker colors really nicely. So um, I'm really excited to wear these this winter fall time. Yeah, I really like this red orange color because it's got like gold sparkles in it and it I don't know, it's just like a really warm color. It makes me think of the leaves changing color, so I'm really excited for these. Um Yeah, maybe I think I'll probably make a video of how I did my Halloween makeup and um I'll probably post a picture or something later so okay anyway i hope you guys have a great halloween if i don't talk to you before then who knows i'll probably be making vlogs more frequently now that i have a little more time on my hands and i'm settled so um yeah i hope i see you guys later bye